In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given quadratic equation by factoring method. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the factors of the left hand side of this equation. So here is the step number one. So we're going to find the factors of the left hand side of the equation. So the very first thing I want you to do is I want you to put down two parentheses okay i want you to put down two parentheses we're gonna do this one so the very first thing i want you to do in these kind of problems they are not an easy one so whenever your leading coefficient is other than one so those problems are not easy to deal with so the, this is the method that you will be using right now let me show you whatever this thing you see the one that i circled in the red that is 36x. I want you to put down 36x right up here and 36x right up here. Just disregard the square part, the exponent, okay? So the next thing what I want you to do is I want you to multiply this 36 on one end and to 120 on the other side. So that's what I'm gonna multiply, 36. Don't worry about this negative sign right up here. We'll take care of it later on. We wanna make things simple. So 36 times what? 100 and what? 20. So far so good. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, I don't want you to be multiplying 36 times 120. It's gonna give you big number and that's gonna be very tedious kind of process. The simpler approach is gonna be like this one. I want you to think of some factors of 36 that gonna work for us. I have come up with this one and you can do this thing by doing practice. Four and what? Nine is 36, isn't it? How about 120 is what? Isn't it eight times 15 is 120? So that means whatever that you multiply that number, that's what you're gonna get these factors. Here you have to watch out. This is what I'm gonna do. Four times eight is gonna be what? 32, isn't it? And nine times 15 is what? 135. Now you can see that 36 times 120 is going to be the same number that you multiply 32 times 135 and that's going to work for us. Why? Because we are looking for the middle number is what? Negative 103, isn't it? And now if you subtract these numbers, you're going to get negative 103. So the next thing what we're going to do is we're going to put the appropriate sign. What sign is going to be? Right now, that's going to be a negative 135 and that's going to be a positive 32. So these numbers are going to work for us. So we're going to go ahead and put down those numbers right up here. Here I'm going to put down plus 32. And here I'm going to put down what? Negative 100 and what? 35. So far so good. So now the next step, what I want you to do is you have to be careful with these ones. Look at this very first parentheses, 36 and 32. Ask yourself, what are the numbers that are really that could be factored out or the in common? So four divides into both of them at the same time, isn't it? So four is divisible on both sides. Likewise, look at this thing, 36 and 135. What are the common number that, that goes into both of them at the same time, isn't it? Nine on both sides. So you do this thing. So let's go ahead and now simplify. Divide into this thing. Four goes into 36x. How much time? It's going to become 9x plus 8 times over here in the second parenthesis. That's going to be what? It's going to be 4x minus 15. So what is in the step one? We figured out the factors for this quadratic expression that turns out to be this one. In the step two, this is what we're gonna do right now. We already figured out 
the factors on the left hand side and what are those factors we know that those are what 9x plus 8 times 4x minus 15 we figured them out in the very first step and set it equal to 0 now you know that thing when we have a two factors equal to 0 you can split them up I'm going to put down 9x plus 8 equal to 0 and the second one is going to be what 4x minus 15 equal to 0 here I want you to subtract 8 we want to uh, solve for x so this can cancels out so we got 9x equal to negative 8 divide both sides by 9 so we got x equals to what negative 8 over 9 that is our one of the solutions and on this side we're gonna add 15 on both sides what happened this is gone 4x equals to 15 I want you to divide both sides by 4 and x turns out to be how much 15 over 4 so we got two solutions and that are those are our answers that's all you have to do thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos